where did your eggs come from? And does it make a nutritional difference at all? What does all this mean? Are you confused? Me too. So join me on the other side and let's dig through some of this. Personally, I'm a tofu kind of a girl, but I know that I do get a lot of eggs in the foods that I eat. And, of course, dogs, and including uh, people like my mom, do eat eggs. So every time I go to the store to buy eggs, I notice there are more and more claims on the egg cartons of what all these eggs provide, contain, and what they do for you. But first, before we delve into what that all means, I thought it might be kind of interesting and important to take a look of what a real live normal chicken's life might be like. Let's take a peek. Quite a bit of research, I was quite surprised to find out how real chicken families live. And actually, I discovered they're really quite interesting. Who hasn't heard of pecking order? Well, chickens have a hierarchy that's quite specific and it's established very early on. The top chickens lay down the law for the weaker chickens by pecking and bullying. And, and like all good families, once the order is established, they usually get along pretty well. I was surprised to learn that chickens can make over 30 different noises or vocalizations. According to an article that I read online from Carolina Chicken Coops, great spot just by the way if you're interested in raising chickens, uh, these vocalizations can do anything from call the young chicks to come or alert other chickens uh, to food that they found and also um, alert the chickens of danger of predators. But what really got me was that the mother chicks actually talk to their chicks in the egg and the little chicks in the eggs respond, oh, isn't it so sweet? Now, I also discovered that they're way smarter than I ever thought. According to that same article, they have memories and they can recognize over a hundred different faces. That's a lot. They play and they dust bathe for pleasure and health. Of course, preening is very important for their feathers. They scratch around in the dirt for worms and bugs because, you, you know, that chickens are omnivores and they do eat bugs and that sort of thing in addition to the grains that they get. They dream in their sleep and they worry. Jeez, they sound almost human, right? But back to the original purpose of the video. What are the differences in the labels on the chicken egg cartons and is there a nutritional difference? First, where do your eggs come from? Now, in the caged scenario, each hen has 67 square inches of cage space. That's actually smaller than a sheet of paper. This restricts the hens to barren battery cages and it prevents them from perching, nesting, foraging, and even spreading their wings. Next, we have caged free. Now, these birds are uncaged, but they're inside barns and they may be kept there indoors at all times. The hens have at least a square foot and it says some perching and nesting requirements exist. Kind of a very vague description, isn't it? Next, free range. Each hen must have 21.8 square feet of outdoor space, but no minimum period of outdoor access is specified. Once again, this is a broad definition and it can encompass everything from just a few small doors leading to an outside unappealing screened in porch to barns with multiple large openings and several acres for hens to forage, perch, and exhibit other typical hen behaviors. And then we have pasture raised. The chickens are given at least 108 square feet 
each and consume some feed and lots of grass and bugs and worms and anything else they can find in the dirt. They tend to be let out of the barns early in the morning and are called back before nightfall. But no minimum period of outdoor access is actually specified. And then there's what they're fed. Here's one, organic. That means that the egg must come from chickens that are fed only organic feed. That's feed that is free of animal byproducts, synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, or chemical additives. Uh, and no genetically modified foods can be used either. Lately, I see a lot of this, vegetarian-fed hens. And that simply means that the feed given to the chickens didn't contain meat byproducts, and they were raised at farms where chickens were allowed to roam the outdoors. And hens have the opportunity to supplement their feed by foraging for worms and insects. And I am seeing a lot of egg cartons that claim to have no hormones or less hormones or hormones are talked about. Well, despite what you may hear, no artificial or added hormones are used in the production of any poultry in the United States. Uh, that's per the Food and Drug Administration. They prohibit the use of such hormones. And then there's lower cholesterol, more omega-3s, less saturated fat. After all, they say what goes in a chicken does make a difference as to what comes out. Sounds reasonable, but does the different kinds of feed really make that much of a difference? For me, the answer to this burning question came in a video that I found from the CBC, which is Canada's public radio broadcasting station. In this documentary, if you will, they took 28 different dozen eggs from 14 different brands and they sent them to a lab to be tested. And these eggs ranged from organic, free range, and conventional eggs. And these eggs ranged in price from $2.75 to all the way up to $8 a dozen. So, anybody care to guess what the results were? The testing found that, of course, there were some differences between all the different varieties of eggs, but actually there was not enough of a difference to make any nutritional difference at all. Surprised? I was actually, I have to admit, a little surprised. I really thought the organic or all of that stuff might make a difference in the nutrition of an egg. Now, I encourage you to watch this video. It was really very interesting, and I have linked it to below in the description. Um, there were differences in the in different eggs. So, as Josh Bulk, Vice President of Farm Animal Protection at the Humane Society of the United States says, the difference between cage-free, free-range, pasture-raised, and organic are minute. Uh, compared to the vast differences in a hen's quality of life between any of these options and caged. He said that if you don't see any of these four labels on a carton, you're looking at caged eggs, one of the cruelest products ever offered in our food system. So for me, when I do buy eggs, I am certainly willing to pay the extra price for pasture-raised eggs. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will hit the like button and um, certainly subscribe because um, we certainly do still love um, company here at our channel. Oh, and one last thing. After hearing all these cold, hard facts, um, I just couldn't resist the urge to include this uh, another link below in the description. You gotta watch this. It's just so heartwarming. Uh, this is a documentary. It's about, I don't know, four series, four in a series, about a family that rescued some battery cage hens. Uh, and um, they took them to their farm. And it's just beautiful to watch these chickens who have never been out of a cage, never touched the grass, or never been able to, to nest or to bathe in the dirt or any of those things that are natural to chickens. And it covers them all the way through four. They even bring them some friends uh, and they rescue some more. So you gotta watch it. It's really heartwarming. Actually, I'm getting dangerously close to wanting some chickens of my own. I don't 
don't know where I put them though. So, again, I hope you enjoyed this and it was valuable information for you. And I guess we'll see you next time. Bye. So, would you pay more for chickens raised in a kinder environment? Comment below. I'd love to know.